I did some research, and as far as I can tell, my next recipe originated in the Siena region of Tuscany, Italy. This dish is called Papa al Pomodoro and is made with just a few ingredients, including stale bread, garlic, basil, and tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes are typically used in this recipe, but I'll be using canned tomatoes. Originally, the soup was made with Tuscan bread, which didn't contain any salt. Without the preservative nature of salt, the bread staled quickly, which led to the creation of this recipe. This dish is close to the heart of many Tuscans because of its humble roots. Like many of our American Depression meals, it's a symbol of perseverance and enjoyable sustenance during difficult times. This is such a beloved meal that there's even a song and dance paying tribute to this dish. I'll tell you in advance, if you like tomatoes, you're gonna love this dish. Sometimes a whisk is used to disintegrate the bread into the soup, but I decided to leave it at this consistency because I think I'm going to like it best this way. I loved everything about this meal. I rated it a 10 on my scale. If you only have a can of tomatoes and some stale bread, definitely try this out. I also added a little bit of chili pepper at the end just to see how I would like that. And that was delicious too. So you could always add that in with the oil in the beginning with the garlic if you wanted to. 
When I was doing the research on this dish, I noticed that Ina Garten made a version of this and at the end she topped hers with ricotta cheese. So I thought I would try that, but the original recipe doesn't call for it. When I tried it with this dish, I didn't like it as much as I liked it without it. My son felt just the opposite, but then again, he's not a huge fan of tomatoes and he found this dish a little too acidic. So he liked the way the ricotta cheese blended the flavors and toned it down a little bit. I myself love acidic dishes and I'm a huge tomato lover, so I preferred it without the ricotta cheese. Obviously, you could also do something like this with, you know, maybe like a dollop of goat cheese in the middle if you want, or you could serve this alongside some grilled chicken, but I think it's a hearty and perfect recipe just with the basic ingredients. This is definitely going in my recipe book. Thanks so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.